good nick to the mile later, isn't it? Right away, very, very good order. order. Last order. Yeah, 5, yeah, 5, yes! 50, 200, 4, six, 6, 8, 8 6, 6, 2, 2 60, 200, 60, 200, yes. away, 4, 64, 6. Scores of bargain hunters flocked to this wheat farm in country Victoria last month to bid in a clearing sale. Yes! 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 It was hot, windy and dusty. On a day of frantic buying and selling, the message was everything's on the block. Anybody got a dollar for it? Restore that for a dollar. From the cheapest bargains in the paddock, to the most expensive. Great outfit. 105 at 195 to start it. 90 for 85 to start it. Anybody interested at all? 75, anybody at 75 for it? 75,000 or we leave it, I think. All out, all over. What do we do, Jim? Oh, we'll leave it there. Righto, leave it there. A little bit more money on it. We'll deal with the loser bidder immediately. Right. Yep. Righto, on we go. The sale came after 11 years of drought and marked the end of a lifetime in farming for Vince McNichol and his sons Danny and Eddie. Look, I'm 81 years of age and these two lads have got a future coming up to them and I wasn't going to stand in their way. And, uh, I, I just... Australia is the world's driest continent. Australians are also among the world's biggest users of water. As if this and global warming weren't enough, Australians have another big problem – salt. It's the increasing salinisation of their water supply that is perhaps their greatest environmental challenge. It's a problem largely of their own making. Since colonisation, Australians have been trying to force the land into the mould of where they came from – Europe. They try to farm the land for crops that are normally grown in much wetter climates. They were successful for over a century, but now that success is drying up, literally. Every person that lives in this country needs a given amount of water to be able to live. And uh, unless we had that managed properly, we, we, we can't look at a growth in the Australian economy. We're trying to run a first world economy in what you might call a third world environment. It's now become an urgent issue. It's not a generational issue, it's an issue that has to be dealt with right at, right at the moment in this generation.